Welcome to the ADF Insider Essentials series which demonstrates common skills, tips and techniques that you'll require for building ADF applications. In this demonstration you'll see how to pass data within a task flow. So let's consider this example that you have a task flow with a number of task flow activities and you want to pass data between those task flow activities. So for example, We've got a case here, we have a search page, and that search page sets up some data. That data we want to be able to access from both a method call, and we may also want to access that same data from a results page. So in this example, what we'll do is we're going to search on customers, and the details of the customer search are set up in the search page, and that information is required in the method call to filter the customers and also to display the results in the results page. So how can we achieve this? Well we can use something called page flow scope. So page flow scope is a piece of memory that's available for the life of the task flow and can be accessed by the elements within the task flow. We use something called a set property listener which will set the value of the page flow scope depending on some action. For example, a button being pressed on the search page will set up the page flow scope. So page flow scope and specifically the variable you set up on the search page can be accessed from the method call and it can also be accessed from the results page as well. So let's see how we can do this in a demonstration. So in this example, we're going to set up some search parameters in a search page, use those within a method call to filter or check details which will display in a results page. So information needs to be accessible from each of these three nodes. So let's look at our search page. So this allows us to set up parameters, which is going to be our credit limit using a slider. And it happens to be the value uh, of this slider is stored in a managed bean. Now on the button we're going to drop in our set property listener. So I'm pressing that button this set property listener will copy values from and this is the managed bean that backs the slider component so we're going to copy the value of that slider component. Here's the value and we're going to copy that value into a piece of memory or a variable within memory called page flow scope and we can give this variable any name we want so let's call it credit limit var and let's just take a copy of that and the action will happen when that button's pressed And as well as doing that action, that button will also navigate us to the method call. So let's hook up the method call. And this is actually using something in business components where I've got an operation here which will do an execute with params, which will refill to the data. And I just need to pass the parameter and the value I'm going to pass to filter is the page flow scope variable. Okay, so that's the variable we've been using the method call, and we're going to use it also in the results page in this label at the top, where we'll say credit, customers with a credit limit greater than, and the variable. So let's run, and we can test this now. And let's search for customers with a credit limit greater than 3,000. And there we can see customers with a credit limit greater than 3,000. Let's go back and return and do another search. This time we'll make it 4,750. And there we can see the different set of data. And you'll also notice the label also shows the page flow scope variable set up.
So to summarize, your page flow scope can be used to define a memory scope variable which can be used for the life of the task flow and can be accessed from the various activities within that task flow. You can use something called a set property listener which allows you to set up declaratively the copying of a value from one field, from one of your UI components for example, to this memory scope variable. And this provides a very clean solution where you're being very clear in what data you're setting up to be consumed by other consumers within the task flow. If you'd like to learn more, you can go to the Oracle Technology Network at oracle.com forward slash technology forward slash jdev. Thank you very much for listening.